Uh, we do the coaches outreach Bible studies. Um, started coming to the summer marriage conferences and started hearing about them. And to be honest with you, the first summer we came, I didn't know what they were talking about. Um, but we started doing them. And it just gives great perspective for me. This is just my personal opinion. Great perspective for me, week to week, day to day, night to night, uh, staying in God's Word. You know, we get really focused on our jobs and our tasks. And God's Word helps us keep all that in perspective. Um, we love coming to Coaches Outreach because, you know, as a coach's wife, there's not anybody that really understands what coaches' wives go through or what our husbands go through except for other coaching families. And so what's unique about Coaches Outreach is you can get into God's Word, but at the same time you're with other couples who are experiencing the exact same thing that you're experiencing. So that's one of the things that I really love. And the small group time is probably one of my favorites because... Um, you get to share stories and sometimes you know you think you're the only one struggling with something but then you find out that it's not just me it's all of us and um, so it's just a really special time we've made amazing friendships here and uh, just been really fantastic um, the only other thing I would say for couples is um, you guys do an amazing job of of helping people from other religions you know they come from all different religions to to come together like you know I don't know about that God thing and it's funny because we all get married in a church or we get married under God but then we just kind of leave him out of everything that we do and so people get a little a little shy about that and he is an amazing job and I, Michael Bridges is is the key to making everybody feel comfortable and you don't feel the pressure of a churchy Thing, but yet you are getting getting God's word through that and there is a there's a level of comfortableness through the small groups that that people don't understand or know and so they're a little scared about coming but just know that um, all of those things have been well thought out in advance about people coming from different backgrounds different religious you know backgrounds to, to tie that together when you come here so that would be the one thing that um, that I would say don't don't be afraid it, it's awesome experience and I'm just telling you, you you come and you get here and you just open your heart and your mind and amazing things are going to happen. God's awesome. <laughs> I think there's, there's one thing that, that I learned this weekend from Dr. Pettit that, that I didn't realize. Uh, we come to these marriage conferences. We drop our, our girls off, our two daughters, and uh, I didn't really realize the legacy we're leaving with them they know where we're at this weekend and they know what we're doing and uh, I think that's pretty important in their future marriages as well. The next thing I would just want to say is that's awesome about Coaches Outreach is that coaches spend many hours calling other coaches, you know, how do you, how does your program work? You look at successful plans and successful um, programs and you want to learn how to do things better or you make adjustments to try to, to try to take the kids you have and do something awesome with it. And, um, you know, God has a plan for marriage and being able to take his plan, which is the Bible, and get into it and say, how am I going to make this better it's not ever something that you that you arrive at just like with football you're always looking searching and, and and trying to find something better but being able to take God's plan and dig into it and see how you can make this better because these two impact our family which impacts our coaching family which impacts our kids and then we send our kids out to impact others and we're going to impact one way or another so you know, it needs to be, it needs to be positive. We're all in this for the kids and uh, we can change a generation just by, by getting into his word and, and, and making this right here what God intends it to be.